Alright people, welcome back to another Zombies video. Today's video is going to be a bit different. Uh, it's not going to be me playing a map, I'm going to actually be going over my top 10 custom zombie map features. Now, I've, I've seen a couple people do this before, but I want to give my own thoughts on it. But, these aren't going to be in any particular order, this is going to be me like basically just giving my own thoughts, rambling for it. So again, not any particular order, but let's, let's get started with this. Alright, number 1. Now, I can't believe Treyarch hasn't done this yet. I think they haven't. Correct me if I'm wrong. Maybe BO4 of that custom shit had it. But a zombie counter. How? I, I just don't get this. They have all this shit in, in a zombies game. And you don't have a zombies counter. Like, how, how does that even make sense? I will never know. I mean, that's been in custom zombies for as long as I can remember. And I, I can't even remember, like... I think, like, the first... 10 custom, I mean, maybe not the first 10, but like maybe the first 10 after that had like a zombies counter. But it just baffles me that Treyarch hasn't added that yet. Alright, number two. Alright, now this is going to be shocking everyone, but only BO2 had this, I'm pretty sure. That is eight player support. Eight player support in zombies has been, well, um, a struggle somehow. Somehow you could have a hundred and something players on Warzone, but you can't have eight players on zombies for some stupid fucking reason. But, you know, that, that's, let's let bygones be bygones on that one. <laughs> Alright, number three. That's going to be different weapons from every game. In custom zombies, you could literally have any weapon ever. You could have guns from Ghost, you could have guns from Advanced Warfare, you could have them from fucking Modern Warfare 2019. You could have any gun you want in the game without any restrictions whatsoever. So I think that that's like one of the most unique features of custom zombies. Alright, number four is going to be copyrighted music. Yes, you heard, but you can put any music you want in your custom zombies map. Well, not not like legally, but you can still do it, and people still put their own music in there, which I think is nice still. All right, number five. And now you, <laughs> you, could, you could thank Duran Fung for this fucking one. A pause button. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, you heard me right. The new Duran Fung Zombies does not have a working fucking pause button. How in the actual hell? Does a game get released and doesn't it come with a basic feature like a pause button? I honestly, I'm baffled, honestly. I don't get this shit, man. If Treyarch could just get their head out of their ass or some shit, maybe we could get a good zombies game, but uh, I digress. Okay, next, number six. Okay, now this one's pretty cool. Uh, trademark locations like, you know, McDonald's or Walgreens or whatever. Now, in an official Treyarch game, you're not going to get, like, McDonald's or Walgreens or any of these cool locations that you can fight zombies in. You want to know why? Because, well, it's in the name. It's a trademark location, and they would have to pay for McDonald's to be, like, in the game. But in Custom Zombies, you don't really need to do that. Well, because, like, it'll get to my later point. Everything's free. It's, like, number seven. And that's going to be joining in session. Like, in, like, a game. Now, in Normal Zombies, you can until a certain round. But after that, you can't do it. It won't let you join in for some stupid reason. But in Custom Zombies, you can join in whenever. So, your friend could be on, like, round 32 on, like some map like, I don't know, fucking KFC, and then you could join in, whenever. But on uh, normal zombies, you can't really do that. Alright, number eight is gonna be different bosses from every game. Now, usually on, like, a map, you'll have, like, one or two bosses, but on custom zombies, you could have at least, like, you could have so many bosses. You could have the guy from Moon, you could have fucking Panzer from Origins, you could really have anything you want in a custom zombies map, which I think is a, an amazing feature that I think Treyarch should just let you, like, toggle on and off in any map, like, have a list of boss zombies and then you can just like toggle them on on the map of how many you want i think that'd be pretty cool but anyway that's another cool feature all right number nine custom zombies never really dies quote unquote because well unlike a treyarch game or anything like that they have to like wait and then release another map and it takes forever but during custom zombies you don't really need to wait because there's always new zombie maps coming out so it's really just amazing in that sense but other than that it never really quote unquote dies and uh, the last tenth thing is going to be everything is free in Custom Zombies. You don't need to pay a dime for Custom Zombies. Because if you were, like, see, that's like a little blurred line, though, because people put out their patrons, which I think is okay. It's just like, when you put that during the game, it doesn't really make any sense. All right, guys, this is my top ten Custom Zombie map features. Hopefully you liked it. Leave a like and subscribe.